Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Video Channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create object in Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, actually, it's an object template, uh, placeholder, and so on. So again, it's only part of the game. So, um, uh, so far we have learned how to make sprites, but the problem with sprites is that uh, uh, they don't do... Um, much on the screen they uh, even if you animate them and so on you have to combine them with objects so a uh, sprites alone again uh, they can be useful in game maker for uh, uh, some kind of uh, mechanics and so on but um, the whole idea of uh, game maker workflow is that you combine them with objects so for example if i have a, a room 2 and i try to drag and drop sprite in it it will uh, game maker will give me a warning that will say okay this asset cannot be applied to this uh, uh, layer so we have to make some kind of new layer specifically for uh, those and i don't want to do that so again when you try to click and drag sprites from asset browser to your room to your level you will have a problem so uh, that's how game maker studio try tries to warn you that you need objects objects are as um, uh, basics of your game in terms of they are what uh, is interactive in your game they are uh, uh, everything you want to put in your game is defined by objects they are like folders boxes uh, templates placeholders for your uh, code images sounds and so on so you, all you all you want to do uh, in a game you have to put it in some kind of object first so for example for a player you will make a player object and put the game uh, uh, graphics for the player in its sprites uh, sounds code and so on for the enemy you will have to make another game object for uh, gun another for ammunition another and so on so game objects are like uh, some kind of placeholders boxes in which you put your interactive uh, stuff code uh, music uh, uh, images and so on so uh, those uh, objects are very very important uh, in game maker workflow and <clears throat> uh, they are very simple to make just uh, right click uh, again as with the sprites you can right click on any kind of folder and create object and uh, rename it into obj underscore for example uh, player but i think i already have now uh, obj player and um, again you already have objects folders so game maker studio programmers made this folder for you so you can create objects in it uh, but as we have just seen you can create objects in any other folder so it's up to you where do you want to store them and again this object here uh, by itself it's only placeholder as we just explained so it doesn't contain anything you can drag and drop it into the game we will do that but it's empty so i will click on room 2 i will click on asset browser and click on this obj player and it's in the game but it has a question mark it says okay i don't understand what do you want with this it is empty it doesn't have any code or images and if you try your game if you start your game uh, it will work but it wouldn't have any kind of uh, graphics so it's all blank because we don't have sprites on this obj player object so <clears throat> lucky for us we have uh, done that in a previous video so all i have to do is pick sprite from this um, uh, sp uh, no sprite uh, button click on no sprite button and uh, pick uh, i will pick sprite m for example and now in my room 2 there is a big image of this bottle because uh, dimensions are too big but i can pick this one sprite one and it will be animated so if you start the game because we have made 
uh, numbers two or three uh, into this sprite we have a couple of frames it will flash so animation is working but it's working too fast we can learn how to do that in some later videos and how to control it uh, but uh, if you don't like it you can choose this one so now it's changing the uh, the bottle liquid into a white green and red i think so it's simple as that so that's how you make objects and again uh, this is too flashy i will just pick some kind of uh, simple bottle uh, image and that's how you make objects in game maker studio 2 uh, objects placeholder in which you later put sprites and uh, code and so on we have learned how to make sprites how to add sprites to objects and code you can add it here with events and uh, coding it by a gml a language or drag and drop system but that's another topic so far um so far so good uh, we have learned how to create object it's as uh, simple as right clicking anywhere in the asset browser create object putting some sprite in it here with select sprite button and then drag and drop it from asset browser into your room you can add as many objects objects as you want but don't uh, push it too much because uh, game maker will crash uh, that's it for this video and again those uh, couple of uh, short videos which I have uh, just made uh, in uh, this series game maker studio 2 how to uh, they are only to inform you how to make uh, uh, some simple uh, uh, how to create some simple stuff and how to solve some simple problems which we uh, we'll uh, use later um, uh, often in our uh, tutorials so I'm not going to explain them over and over uh, a lot lots of time I will just say okay I have made uh, these sprites I have imported these sprites I will use this sprite to make the object and so on so I will not explain how uh, did I do it in details, details because I have just explained it here in these short clips. Uh, bye for now and keep on learning.